G'day, welcome to the Tech Math channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video, it's the second video looking at nursing calculations, okay? In this particular video, what we're going to be having a look at is where we're working at flow rates for intravenous therapy calculations. So intravenous fluids, these are basically ones that are delivered directly into a vein via, um, say, a, a drip setup or something like this. So it's really, really critical say that you can actually work out the volume of fluid to be delivered in an hour or say that whether this is actually an amount in say mils per hour sort of thing a volume per hour type calculation which we'll be looking at or whether this becomes something where you're actually looking at a dripper container where it becomes a drops per minute type of calculation okay because these dripper containers actually do have an adjustable sort of rate so these are things that can be modified and it's critical you get these these pretty good so first off there's a really, really important formula that you know with this, and that is where we can work out the rate of, of delivery for an intravenous setup. And the rate is as follows. This rate uh, of delivery is, it's basically a an amount for an amount of time, okay? So a volume per given an amount of time, okay? So a given amount of volume and a given amount of time. And this is typically used as an amount of mils over in a given amount of hours, okay? So, for instance, it might be 6,000 mil per hour or something like this. You get that? So, given this, given this particular formula that we have here, let's just start some really basic calculations. So, say we have we want to work at the rate of delivery in mils per hour where 500 mil is to be delivered intravenously over four hours. So this little formula we had, this rate, okay, and it equaled the uh, volume in mil over time. So this equals as follows. The volume, this is in mil, so this is already in mil, is 500 mil in time, which is in hours, okay? So this is already in hours, so for four hours. So 500 divided by four, our answer, we should have a delivery rate of 125 mil per hour. Okay? Let's have a look at another question. Okay. Okay, so what is the rate of delivery mil per hour where 2 litres is to be delivered intravenously over 24 hours? So our formula is where we have a rate which is to be delivered, which is uh, a volume, again this was in mil and this is put over time which is in hours. So this equals a volume in mil. So we have a volume here which is 2 litres. Now this is not in mil at the moment. 2 litres, well where 1 litre equals 1,000 mil, 2 litres equals 2,000 mil. And it's critical that you change these and get these in the right unit. And it's to be delivered intravenously over 24 hours. Over 24 hours. So what we end up with is an equation with 2,000 divided by 24. Now look, you can cancel these out and spend time doing that. Uh, that's for another math lesson. Uh, alternatively, you may calculate this and you get 83.3 mil per hour. Okay, let's have a look at another one. So, what's the rate of delivery uh, in mil per hour where 350 mil is to be delivered intravenously over six and a half hours. So let's have a look at our formula. First off we have our rate which equals the volume which is in mils 
over the uh, time, which is in hours. Okay, and what we get is this. Okay, the volume in mil, we have 350 mil. Okay, uh, our time here, you're going to see is six and a half. Now this, be very, very careful when you start playing around with time. Time's not a decimal thing, but we have to make it a decimal thing. So six and a half, decimally, we're going to write as 6.5. Okay, so this is 6.5 hours. Our answer, if you calculate this, is we should have a rate of 53.8 mil per hour being delivered. Okay, now hopefully you got the hang of those. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could even make up your own sort of questions with these, but um, let's have a look at a different thing where we start to actually look at I'll just get rid of that up there. Well, we start to have a look at dripper rates. Now, sometimes what happens is fluids are being delivered, delivered using a dripper. Okay, so basically what you need to start working out, we, we, we're working out using a drop rate. Okay, um, so what we do with this is we do the following formula. We have a rate, and it's a similar sort of thing. We have this rate which is in a volume, which is in mil over time, which is in hours, but now what we do is we have to take into how fast the drip rate occurs with, and the way we do this is we basically have our drops per mil which is being delivered by this particular, the particular system, um, and we put this over 60, okay, 60, uh, so th this is actually uh, 60 minutes in an hour. So just want to go just a couple of things with this drops per mil. Uh, the drop rate usually is around about 20 drops per mil for an adult using a, a macro drip. Macro drip usually delivers about that much. Sometimes kids are slightly different. They're using a, um, a micro drip possibly. This delivers 60 drops per mil. Okay, so just to be something to be aware of. But the typical rate of this is usually about 20 drops per mil that we would use uh, in a macro drip. Okay, and what we typically do also, when we get our drop rates, we actually, with our ants, we're going to round them up. Okay, we round them up to the nearest whole number. Okay, so this is a great formula. It's just an extension of this other formula we had. Let's have a look at where we might apply it. So a patient is to have a normal saline uh, of one litre over six hours. And you're using a macro drip, which is at 20 drops per mil. What's the required dose? So first off, let's recollect this formula. So the... Uh, the, the dose in drops per minute, the old drops per minute, is as follows. We have, uh, which is just a rate thing, drops per minute. We have, so first off we had the uh, volume, and we have this over time. Okay, this, the volume again was in mil, the time was in hours, and we times this by the uh, drop rate over 60. What does this equal? Okay, let's just substitute all our, our parts in. So the volume we have is one litre. We have to change this to mil. So this is a thousand mil. We put this over time, which is six hours. We're going to multiply this by the drop rate. We're using a macro drip, which is 20 drops per mil. Okay, so we're going to call this 20. I'm just going to write that down as 20. And we have a, uh, this over 60. Okay, so if you calculate this, you're going to get this times this, this times this, and you're going to, you know, going to this. So we're going to end up with, okay, just doing a bit of fraction work here. 1,000 times 20 is 20,000 over 6 times 60, which is 360. Yeah. And what we're going to end up with is an answer which is 55.555. You're going to round this up so it becomes 56 drops per minute. Okay, let's have a look at another one of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, work at the drops per minute. If we are, okay, the drops per minute, if we are giving 
2 litres of fluid over 8 hours. The macro drip being used is set that it delivers 20 drops per mil as expected. How much is this in drops per minute? So we, let's get this formula down. So with drops per minute, again, is volume, okay, which is in mil, over time, which is in hours, times this uh, drip rate, over 60. So what does this equal? Let's have a look. The volume, 2 litres. 2 litres is 2,000 mil. We have a time of 8 hours. We're going to times this by the, drops, the drop rate, which is 20, and we're going to put that over 60. Okay, so what do we end up with? Let's just do this uh, bit of fraction work here. So it's this times this gives us our top answer, two top ones. So 2,000 times 20, we're going to get the answer of 40,000. Okay. And 8 times 60, 6 eighths are 48. So over 480. If you divide 480 into 40,000, 40,000 divided by 480, you get the answer of 250 drops per minute. Okay. Let's have a look at one last one of these. So what we have is we have 1600 ml of fluid to be administered to a child. Okay, these guys use these micro drips here. You remember these have a 60 drop per minute, uh, drop per mil rate. Uh, over eight hours. So what's the drop rate? So let's have a look at this. Let's get our formula there. We have our uh, formula which is our drops per minute rate which equals uh, the volume. Remember what this is in again. Volume. I'm having trouble writing simple words. Which is in a uh, mil. We have our um, time which is in hours. We times in this by our drop rate over 60. So what does this equal? Now, we have our volume which is 1600 mil. We put this over our 8 hours a time. We're going to times this by our drop rate. Because this is a child, again as you might recall we were saying that children in fact often have a uh, different setup, which is a micro drip setup, this has a 60 uh, drops per mil, okay? So this is 60 over 60. Funnily enough, these guys are going to cancel each other out. 60 divided by 60 is 1. So 1600 divided by 8, our answer is 200 drops per minute. So how are you going with those? Good. Now look, I'm not going to pretend that I'm a great expert on nursing here, but I can do the calculations, okay? So I apologise for any uh, mispronunciations, any uh, sort of silly definitions like that that I, I might give, and, and by all means, please correct me on these, okay? I'm not the nursing teacher, I'm not a teacher who teaches this particular thing, but what I do teach is the calculations, okay? So the calculations should be good. All right. Anyway, the next thing we're going to be having a look at uh, in our videos is we're going to start then having a look at paediatric calculations. Okay, so anyway, hope to see you then. See you next time. Bye.